What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. We're gonna focus in on the Colorado Avalanche and Tyson Barry putting their little squabbles aside and coming to terms on a four-year deal worth an average of $5.5 million. Um, so for a total value of $22 million. Obviously, Tyson Barry is a very good offensive defenseman. 49 points this past season, 53 the year before, and I thought even the thought of letting him walk or, you know, trading over, you know, Especially for a team that blunt sucks as much as um, Colorado's does, you know, was was foolish and a testament to how idiotic Joe Sakic and Patrick Dubois have been running this team. But the fact that they got him signed to a you know decent contract, and I, I think it's a fair deal. It's you know going right for a defenseman like Barry um, is you know a good thing. Uh, again, any time I I don't I always have a broken record saying this. You know, anytime you avoid arbitration, it's good. But you know, we'll see if there isn't any uh, lingering hurt feelings, even though they, they did come to terms on an extension. I mean, Colorado, I, I believe it's Barry has the same agent as uh, Ryan O'Reilly, so kind of a, a tough relationship there between both parties and, and obviously the agent and everything. So, you know, we'll see. Uh, I don't think, you know, someone's going to ask, even though he signed, will they still trade him? I don't think so, but then again, it's the Colorado Avalanche organization. You, you never know for sure. And uh, once they got the original Ryan O'Reilly contract squabble out of the way. I thought they were going to, you know, keep him long-term. Obviously, they flipped him for all the assets they could get right before he could become restricted and, you know, kind of cover themselves there. So, we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the off-season and beyond. Later, guys.